All characters and events in this podcast are entirely fictional. All directors and artists' voices are impersonated poorly. The following program contains some slightly crude terminology of some particular body parts and due to its context should not reach the ears of anyone below the age of 15. James Francis Cameron, you copycat. Oh, you copycat? What are you? Don't recognize me. I'm the most famous of the famous Singaporean artists. One of the pioneers of the Naya art style and the drawing force for modernism in visual art. Chung Su Pyeong. Tattoo this on your backside. Wow! That sounds like a Wikipedia page. Chung Su Pyeong. Doesn't that mean you were the one who painted all these paintings? Yes, and you copied my painting. What painting are you talking about? Millie Boy! I remember the year when I painted this. 1953. What an exciting year! It was also the year I had my exhibition and commemorated my Bali trip, along with three other friends, Liu Kang, Chen Chongsui, and Chen Wenxi. An enriching experience I gained from the trip. Ah, Millie Boy. Let me observe it for a moment. I surely have not seen it before. It is indeed an eye-catching piece of artwork, especially with the blue butt in the middle shining right in front of my face. You did use a lot of shining effects, didn't you? <clears throat> that, that wasn't intentional. Isn't everyone's butt like that? As an artist, I definitely have to know what happens when lighting falls on a convex object. Oh, that was really one of the few areas where I can actually see more tonal value. The painting seems a bit flat to me. <laughs> What do you think about my model? The Malay boy really resembles an almond, no matter which angle I look at him from. His face is sharp at the chin and his eyes look like almonds. I like almonds though. Me too. He has been bothering me, the butt. Why didn't you give him any pants? I just wanted to show that the Malay boy is poor, so he didn't have any money to buy pants. What do you think of the colours? Mm -hmm. I see that you have painted with a bold and limited colour palette. Only five colours. Even so, the bold colours you have used are visually exciting. The blue scene is probably what has my eyes glued to this painting. The blue scene of the boy against the red tone of the painting really takes my attention to me. When I looked at this painting, my attention was immediately drawn to the blue bottom because of the curves against a linear composition. Yes, I was trying to experiment with oil in impasto effects. You can see I'm a very recent versatile artist. Look at the artworks on your left, they're done in very different styles and complexities. Wow, that is intriguing. There are really very different painting styles and ways of representing the human form. It also is very direct and abstract in a sense. There is also little tonal value except on the skin. The bold outlines also remind me of Picasso's paintings. I'd say it is done in quite a cubist style. They appear so different from the other works, despite having the same subject matter. I don't think this painting seems to carry any sense of your style. Of course, I do not search for a style consciously or create it deliberately. I doubt any artist does. But it's there. It's a way of bringing order and intelligence to what an artist is doing. Don't you think so? What do you think about my painting? Mr. C.S.P., I personally find this painting absolutely fantastic! Your use of colours, lines, tones really make it stand out from the other paintings I have seen. It makes me sizzle inside when I look at it. It just really excites me, the blue skin. I think the portrayal of simple kampong life is well done as well, so I can sort of sense how simplistic and cheerful it is through the use of bright colours, little small values, and bold, thick lines. Talking about blue skin, have you seen my movie? Thanks to it, I am a couple of million bucks richer now. <laughs> Take a look at my promotional posters. You mean Avatar? Yes, you are me. You copycat. Now, not only Malay boys have blue skin, but now the whole world wants to have blue skin, all thanks to you! I am looking at the artist of Little Ruffy, Mr. CSP. Holy Uncle Ted, didn't you die in 1962? Uh, 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 you, 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 uh, ghost! <laughs>